A better answer Matthew Pryor Dear Clo, how blubber does that pretty face? Thy cheek all on fire, and thy hair all uncurled, Puerto Rico is the quit this caprice? And, as old Falstaff says, let us e'en talk a little like folks of this world. How canst thou presume, thou hast leave to destroy the beauties, which Venus but lent to thy keeping? Those looks were designed to inspire love and joy, more ordinary eyes may serve people for weeping. To be vexed at a trifle or two that I writ, your judgment at once, and my passion your own, you take that for fact, which will scarce be found wit, odds life. Must one swear to the truth of a song? What I speak, my fair clo, and what I write, shews the difference there is betwixt nature and art, I court others in verse. But I love thee in prose, and they have my whimsies. But thou hast my heart. The god of us first men, you know child, the sun, how after his journeys he sets up his rest, if at morning o'er earth tis his fancy to run. At night he reclines on his Thetis's breast. So when I am wearied with wandering all day, to thee my delight in the evening I come, no matter what beauties I saw in my way, they were but my visits. But thou art my home. Then finish, dear Clo, this pastoral war. And let us like Horace and Lydia agree, for thou art a girl's much brighter than her, as he was a poet sublimer than me.